32 minutes past 6 o'clock, las 6 con 32 minutos en nuestros estudios. Buenos días. Good morning, Belize. And thanks for choosing love. Good morning, Troy. Today is what day again? Today is hump day. Oh, hump day, so hump today day. is your day, right? Yes, sir. It's 27th day of July. It's hump day. It's Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And if you look hard enough, you'll be able to see the weekend on the horizon coming. But suppose you're looking up the hump and not down the hump. <laughs> no, you should. You should. Huh? You should be looking. You should be looking down at, at the hump so you can see the horizon. So it's hump day, 27th day of July. You should be at the top of the hump today. Today is hump day. You're at the peak. You're uh -huh. at the pinnacle at, uh, uh, of, the, of the week, midweek. If you're a five-day person who works five day, days a week, then you're, this is midweek for you. So, it is? So, yes, it is. It is. And certainly, Chief, is a, is, you have a, a couple of showers this morning. As we were coming into the studio, so certainly um, we'll call that show as a blessing. And certainly want to say good morning to all our viewers and listeners on this beautiful Wednesday morning, this beautiful hump day, 27th day of July, and those in the diaspora who are streaming as well. We're glad you could join us this morning. And we hope that this morning show will be extremely informative. We should be having the Prime Minister of Belize this morning and discussing all things Belize. Um, especially as it relates to the economy, Chief, and, and how things are looking up. The there's a lot minister. to discuss with the Prime Minister, mm -hmm. and so we hope to get him on the record for some of these issues. Um, at the same time, I want to tell you that the Bolido last night was 63. The number drawn was 6-3, six, 6-3 three, six, three in the Bolido, and pick 3, 2-3-8, two, 2-3-8, three, eight, two, three, eight, pick 3. Fantasy 5, zero, 7 zero, 5 19, 23, and 30. 05, 07, 19, 23, and 30. Free ticket letter is D. D as in David, as in dog. Pat stands at $212,000. So you got to be in it to win it. If you're not in it, you can't win it. So the next draw comes up on Thursday, which is tomorrow. What you got, Chief? My, um, I'm trying to find something here, but this person here is balance is not something you find, it's something you create. Balance? Well, there you go. You, 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 people like to find a balance. Well, it, you know, but everything, you is in, balance? everything is in equilibrium. Hmm? That's what balance means, that everything is even keel. How you find a balance? Mm -hmm. That's something that, that is um, innate to you. You know, it's something that is very very subjective you know when you you are you know um people say drive balance say family and work you mm -hmm. know um, i'll play and no work i'll work and no play so there's always trying to mix and create that balance uh, 50 50. so i guess um, this one would match it then you can't stop the waves but you can learn to surf <coughs> Exactly. Well, ride the wave, ride the wave. You'll find your own balance, huh? Ride the wave, balance, get on your surfboard and... And surf. Not figuratively, but certainly that's the... That's Meaning the you can't stop what's life. coming at you in life. In life. The, the, the difficulty sometimes stop some of the, which are the waves that come at you, which are the waves. You, you know, you can't really say, don't come at me, don't hit me or something like that. You try to prevent it, I mm -hmm. guess, because mm -hmm. when you navigate, you want to navigate between the waves as much as you can. But you can't stop them from coming at you because mm -hmm. the force that's sending them is greater than, 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 than you. Mm -hmm. But you can learn to surf with them. You like can use them to your advantage. For, for example, in the news, you had this story with the 14-year-old young lady with the rheumatic fever, a rheumatic heart condition. Um, that's a big wave mm -hmm. for her. Of course. But, but she's riding the wave by the help of Rotary and, and, and others, obviously. Um, she will try to to get her val heart valves repaired, and um, she'll be able to live a reasonable 
um, normal life yeah, hereafter. So she's riding that wave, yeah. or hopefully ride that wave of that disease that has hit her. So but she has to learn to live with the disease. And that's you know? surfing. That's and where that's, you balance. That's, 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 that's where the balance comes in. Surfing comes in. She didn't going. let the wave overtake her and then she drunk. She's saying, I'm trying, I'm going to ride this wave out and who knows? She may well live to a ripe old age mm -hmm. um, and um, with, with the condition and a very fruitful life at that. So, you know, we wish her well, but it's just to use that as an example to match the saying that you're, you, you just mentioned. Mm -hmm. And how do you, how, this is another good one here. Let no one ever come to you without leaving better and happier. You know, if somebody comes to you, you left them better than how they came. Mm -hmm. Even with a smile and shake. Feeling, you know, the transition of the feeling. Yeah, that's something that's Especially today, which mind. is hump day. You're getting ready for the, the weekend. It's a long weekend coming up. It's Emancipation Day that will be celebrated on Monday. Yeah. So we we say, you know, um, happy to all those persons, day. happy in advance, <laughs> in happy advance. Emancipation Day in advance um, for those persons who, who um, have that kind of, um, you know, that, that huge fervor. You know, mm -hmm. there are some segments of our, our society that is nostalgic in terms of the whole slavery component that is there. I don't have that same kind of hang-up, but that's for another, another topic. And try just before we do the break, I want, because after the break we open the line because it's the only little time that people will have to call. Mm -hmm. You know, but before we go there, I wanted to um, congratulate my cousin, uh, Dylan mm -hmm. Ronan, Ambassador right, right, Dylan right, Ronan. Right. Um, on the publication of his book, Political Clientelism and Democracy in Belize, From My Hand to Yours. You know, very, very eye-opening book. And um, I haven't had the time of reading, to read it. Stating so the obvious. I can't, <laughs> yeah, you know, but it's, it's the way how you put it, how it's put, you know. I, 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 I um, listened attentively yesterday at the presentations, but I want to read it for myself, mm -hmm. you know. Well, I'm glad that you you um, be be able to get some hard evidence. Well, this comes out in time, you know, with the with the, new, the with the the, 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 the the what's on right now for the, um, with the People's Constitution Commission. You know, this book book really comes out. Um, it's timely, you know, and and I guess our members of the commission should really should really read it. Well, I think I I, I don't know the content of the book, but the whole concept of it is, is a, it's an old um, adage that, that, that we have, it's a, it's a world adage, you know, um, political clientelism is a component that will be with us forever. It's not going to go away, it's, it's, it's been there forever and it will not go away, there's some subtle, well, some open. Well, try. I, I believe, I understand what you are saying, mm -hmm. but if you accept that it will not go away, then it will not go away. Governments yeah. continue to say, I built it. Yeah. I did it for you. Yeah. That is a clientism statement. Well, you know, we, me, my party, my party, party did build this turn, bridge. My, my party built this road. But this is we, my plan. If we accept it, it will never change. It will never change. It will never change. If we accept it. It will never change. But Whether we accept it or not, it is a way of how people psyche uh, is built. You scratch my back, I scratch your back. Quid quo pro. And, and we, there's, so much, so there's so much ways that we can um, look at it. Some, some of it is subtle. Some people, they give you a washing machine. They give you a fridge. You need a stove. You, you, you need to pay your light bill. You need some Pampas money. You want to come to my clinic and, at, at this day. It doesn't matter when I knock on your door, whether it is a clinic system or I visit you in your household and give you a lead 20 or a lead 30. That's political clientism, and that will never stop because at the end of the day, as long as there's needy, and there will always be people who need, need and want. So as far as you know, it happens in every country? Yes, it, it does. It does. There, Even there's the no age. country, there's no country that can say, no country that can say that they don't have political clientism. They may have some advancement in terms of their legislation and say, oh, political uh, if you are caught, contribution. You are, you are but people give political contribution but, but openly. You, but, but you have had presidents in, in, in certain republics, you know, around us that have gone to jail. But it hasn't stopped. Because of political clientelism. But it hasn't stopped. 
right? Uh, the point I'm making it is he won't stop. I could stop. think of several right now that have been jailed and, and, and one or two that are still in jail because of the same. Well, corruption. Playing with the people's money. Yeah, it's corruption. But, but yeah. I'm saying that that's, that's a different position than what I would think the good ambassador is, is well, harking on. Read the book. Corruption is, corruption is different the, uh, than, than political clientelism. I, what I see the, the clientelism is that there's, it's a quid quo pro. It's not, it's not you doing something that is, that is um, shady or hunky-punky. It is open. In the U.S., they have political contribution. The, the U.S. realized that it's, it, we can't control it we, because it's, it's happened so much in the dark corners. I prefer to bring it out in the light. So they create legislation to, to actually have people give contribution openly. So you can declare, I am contributing towards the Democratic Party or towards some specific candidate or towards the Republican Party and some specific candidate. They bring it out the shadows one time. They even create a, a position called lobbyists, which is a profession. It's people who collect money to go and lobby the politician. Because they says, I don't want the politician to be taking any money under the table and, and doing anything shady. So let's do it openly. I will go and speak to Senator so-and-so on your behalf. Give me, pay me, and I will go and make the appointment, and I will sit there and carry your message. Well, I, 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 I always say that what happens in the U.S. does not justify it happening in Belize. I mean, I no, no, but I, I, a lot of I, us I, think, I, like I, to think I, that I, I the always, U.S. is a bastion of democracy, I, I which is not. I always, I always say that what we need to come up with, especially like how we're going to do this constitutional reform thing, is a Belizean system of government, right? A, a system that it doesn't have to be strictly a U.S. type system or a Westminster type system. It has to be something that works for us and makes a better oh. way of life for our people. That's what we have to see. That's what we have to be gunning for. And if we, if we don't gun for it or don't move towards it, then... Mm. If we accept that it will always be the same, then might as well just sit down and do nothing. Well, we have, you know? we have over, over <laughs> almost 60 percent poverty. But then we have to do something and, about and it. So, so, the, so, so the constitutional and changes have to be made, made to address that poverty. The, the, the reason so that poverty has to be looked at and addressed in, 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 in the reforms that we are about to make. The empowerment of individual religions have, has to be done. You know? the, the, mental, the mental revolution has to take place where people are taught that, that, that they are responsible for their own destiny but first, and, not, and not to be dependent on political chief, patronage. First I mean, we, there's a lot of work I, to do. Yes, first we have to accept but that... But we can't say that you have stated it because we, we say you have stated then you have stated it. Yeah, but first we have to accept that, we'll never th change. That, that it exists because a lot of time we, not, don't, we not, don't want to accept the fact that, that we, we prostitute ourselves. The mere fact that we're having this discussion is that we all agree that it exists. What we're talking about is how you address mm -hmm. the situation, mm -hmm. how you move forward. With well, it. If you accept that you exist and you keep saying it exists and it exists and it will never change, then it never will change. And that's the point. Because you have accepted that it will not change. And but if you accept that if you keep prodding along and prodding along and prodding along, one day it may change, then you, you find that things start to shift. Human beings are, right. are in, in their own right are selfish. And so when they are the ones benefiting from of so certain things... It might be done and people might not even be aware that, of what they're doing. You, you, know why, you know why bribery is so difficult to prove? Because both persons are committing a crime. And that is why it's so difficult, because the other person has to incriminate themselves also to be able to, to have, um, uh, accuse the other person. Yeah. And that is what is a difficulty with, you know, in our um, system But here. read the book, read the book. And then you talk about it. Quarter to, to, right, to right. 15 minutes, Chief, to 7 o'clock. That's right. Take the break and come back.
It's now 12 minutes to 7 o'clock, and we only got 12 minutes left, Rob. We took longer in our discussion than, than, than we Th I thought it was, yeah. it was, it was, it was but, something meaningful to discuss. But, I, but I, do, I do believe that if you want to see change, then you have to accept that change can happen. If you say it won't happen, then it won't well, happen because you won't do anything. Well, we have it. to revolutionize the mind that, because well, I keep the saying, issue I, of clientelism is, yeah, is it, something in your mind. You know, I've been saying that for time. It, it, it's in your mind. Time. It, clientelism it, is in your mind because course. if I give you something, then there's an expectation uh, uh, on my part, an expectation on your part, that either I owe you back a favor or you should give me back a favor because I did something for you. It's a mindset. Well, that's, that's what we've been yeah, saying. Clientelism that's is what in your been mind. Saying. The only it's, way to, to it's not a. It's not a the, only way, the only way to, 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 to minimize it is through a revolution of the mind. That's all. And that's what I keep saying. Love, can I help? Yes, good morning, Belize, and what's the morning? Good morning, sir. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Russia. Mr. Russia. Mr. Gab. Honorable. Mr. Gab. Russia here. Yes, sir. I would, I, I would like to. I would like to give a little report on a positive activity that happened in Port Loyola. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. But I want to state from the outset that I did not, I did not sponsor the event, right? I, I did not, it's not, I did not have it as such, right? Okay. Okay, so, mm -hmm. um, on Friday, on Friday, July 22nd, there was a grand spelling bee at the Port Loyola basketball court, right? And the, 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 the spelling bee was held by the Port Loyola Alternative to Violence Project that is under the Department of Youth Services, which come under the Ministry of Youth, Sports and Transport. So they are the other one that did that thing, right? Okay. Okay, the, the, the spelling bee had two categories, for, for primary school kids and for high school. The high school, the, the high school that participated were Excelsior, Maud Williams, Gwen Liz, Palote, and Wesley. The primary school that participated were St. John's Vianney, Bornitia, Muslim, Koli Dima, and Queen Square. Yeah. The winners for the primary school, I won't take long, the winners <coughs> for the primary school, 8 to, eight to 11, Kimara Milton first, and Rika Pitch second. For high school, 12 to 16, Kyle Ventura, and Kedrick Apollonio. Now, all the students, all the participants received back to school, back to school prizes, and the winners, first and second winners for each category, received special prizes as well. Now, the event was possible because of the sponsorship of these, first, these different groups. The Department of Youth Services, National Committee for Families and Children, myself, the air representative for Port Loyola. The Ministry of Home Affairs and New Growth Industries and the National Library Services and the National Library Service. All right, so I, I want to say on behalf of the group, many thanks to all the students who participated, many thanks to all those who gave donations, many thanks to all those who assisted in any way with that event. By the way, the chair lady of the Port Alternative Against Violence is Mrs. Natalie Agustin who is also an employee of the Department of Youth Services. Okay. Kind the government may have this event, right? And different people have put it. So, um, as you know, spelling is very important in order yeah. to proceed in life, in school, in, at your job, and so you need to be able to spell. And so I'm very thankful that the 
Port Laola Against Violence Project is very active in the Port Laola Division and they chose the Genosha Basketball Court era for their in different parts of the division. By the way, all the contestants for the spelling bee were residents of the Port Laola Division. Consider okay. Port Laola Alternative Against Violence Project. Okay. All right. Thanks very much, Mr. Osha. All right. And thanks. A little positive activity, man. Great initiative. Great it's initiative. Good positive <laughs> things happening, Mr. Osha. It's very good to see that something things positive things are happening. Get our young people engaged. Thank. Get our young people Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Osha. The, I, I, on another positive note, Chief, as he, he was saying, um, talking about, we, and we were talking earlier about the heart condition of, of the 14-year-old, that the cardiology um, the department is now housed in a facility within the Carl Hushner Memorial Hospital, well, that's a, that's which is a very good thing, yeah. Love, can I help? Yes, good morning. Morning. Morning, morning. Morning, morning. morning, morning, morning with Yes, sir. Uh, Rene, just to follow up, just 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 to follow up on that the the, the, the book, no, uh -huh. that you are presenting by M. I I think there's different aspect in that book that we could read just to get a full sense of the book, other than only focusing on what we are arguing about. But I agree yeah. with Troy. I agree, with Troy. That will not change. We got an example of so quickly after we sp you spoke about it. Thank you. The <laughs> calling and the big up Port Laola. And, and, and this this will continue to happen. And he's saying that he didn't sponsor it. But in the midst, did you hear him call his name and say he included him among those that, that, that made it possible? This will continue to happen. It won't change. And I, that's why I say I agree with Troy. But that does not bring down the book. Because you need to read the book from cover to oh, cover. No, certainly. It's, it's not about the book. Really, what is really the gist of the book and, and, and the, the, the substance of the book. Because Dylan is quite an intelligent person and I know he knows what he's doing. And he, he took a lot of time to present that book like was, like, like how Becca Lam did, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. This is ZHL and it. So these books takes a lot of time to, to, to produce. Absolutely. And it's a lot of effort. And it has, a, it has a lot of meaning and understanding, but you have to know what to digest. Right? It's just like, for example, we had a minister that didn't even swear in when he had a cattle to be sold. Everybody to fight for, for power, and everybody wants to be recognized. We have houses now that are being given to people, and they must get in front of the camera to receive the key. They have the cut in at the ribbon, and they have to receive the key and big up the person who make the contribution to them in the name of area representative or specific ministers. That one never stop. Clientelism. That's clientelism right there. Thanks, Carla. Okay, thank you. No, uh, let, let, let's be clear. Our discussion this morning is about dealing with the issue, not with the book it's, itself. Well, the book, it's the, book, I'm, the book, I'm sure, is, is, is a good documentation and justification of what the title is. And, 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 and I, I will get a chance to read it, of course, and o o over, over time, because uh, mo most local um, um, publications, I take my time to go through and, and read them. And, uh, and, and I always urge that the school should be looking at these books. You know why? Because they deal with our local issues. And, and that is what we should be extremely concerned about. And, and I think, Chief, you are very passionate about that. And um, that we should be teaching in school everything domestic first and foremost. We'll and try if we were te teaching that what you are talking about will be minimized. Obviously, nothing, in <coughs> nothing that we do um, will be completely eradicated, right? But it will be minimized and structured in a way that it benefits everybody and it's above board. I think that is what the, the would be one of the goals. I, I, I myself, okay, fine, I listened yesterday, but I did not have not the opportunity to go through this myself and form my own opinions, mm. you know, um, I, yet, you know. I, I, and I'm speaking strictly from the cover, because I understand that this has been a perennial so problem for us. Buying votes has been one of those things that was at the forefront. But buying votes have a lot of complexion assigned to it. If I give you a scholarship, there's an expectation. Okay, try. Can they buy your vote? If they can buy my vote, yeah. not really. Oh. I don't think so. I don't. I don't. I don't think so. 
Because of the level, because of what we call you yeah, Exactly. But, okay. uh, but, but why do I say that it, it can't be? But why would I sell my be, vote? Why would I sell my vote? There will always be because political I have a need. Why do I have a need? Okay, it's like this. There was this guy, I, I think I used the story over and over. I must be tired already. Um, uh, when, when this gentleman visited this, uh, this politician at his, at his, in his constituency and saw people lining up and, and asking different things, and he said, but wait, those problems you could solve by just doing this. The man said, then what need would there be for me? Exactly. You I know? So if so, so he, he, he don't want the problem so he said peace, peace, yeah. peace, peace, peace. So you they see, keep coming back to you. Me. Ask the question, can somebody buy but my vote? Right? Just to pick up on that example. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Many persons in the past, and I've heard it in people very, very close to me. They, 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 the caller mentioned the issue of the house. In the, in the, in the earlier days, Premier Price, um, they built these housing projects, these small little houses in certain areas in Kings Park. When he gives you that key, in your mind, you are obligated for life. You revere him. And, and Mr. for many, many years, Mr. Price was revered by, by people, especially the older generation. And you know what? That is political clientelism. I, 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 so well, you can't say, I, can somebody buy my vote? I don't know. But if they do something do that benefits me, like yeah. maybe fix my street, you're, 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 I might feel obligated that's that, that that's yeah. a good man. Mm -hmm. I, 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 and, but that is a way that, that my mindset believe that I remember, owe him but, something. But remember you put the man there for work for you anyway. Yeah. You, but, you, you voted but we, for him to we work have for a reverse psychology that we do work for him. No, you put the man for work for yeah, you. But over the 40 years, we and, have grown. And, and you hold the man accountable for working for you. Yeah, but over the 40 Did he years. he do his job well? If he never do his job well, no wrong, no wrong, no heal me no more. And that right. is political clientelism because that is subjective. It is always subjective to you, the beholder, because there are some persons, it doesn't matter what that person do, how good it does, they are locked into that partisan position if you're talking a political um, party politics, that it doesn't matter. They, they are going to go that road. They are fanatics. Mm -hmm. But there are a group of people that can be convinced by certain clientelism action. Well, if you see a, a representative doing his job and doing good for his constituency, you'll vote him back in because he does well for his, for mm -hmm. his constituents, right? But if he has to become a minister <coughs> in order to get money to do the, the job, then that's a different story. And, and, that's, it, 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 and that is why, that, that, that is why the chick, the, chicken or the egg. That is, it's things like that in the system that needs Who to be corrupts? Up. Is the politician corrupt yeah. or, 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 or the people, or the people corrupt? corrupt? The politician. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, or yeah. causes the politician to be corrupt because of the, the demands that the people make. So only, only a frank discussion, and I could agree to that, and, and an open table discussion, and also the fact that we need to, the acceptance that we need to revolutionize our way of thinking, and our way of viewing our country, our way of handling our affairs. Can, can do that. So, One, one of the issues that we face is, is, is that there, there has to be a stronger presence on morality. And, and you know, we always try to say that the, the church is the bastion and the, and the guardians of, of morality in our country. But it should be all over. It shouldn't just be the responsibility it's not just that is the prescribed to the churches. It's, all of us have to be custodians of that morality, but it's um, a minute oh, yeah. past seven almost. Let's get moral. So let's, um, we have the Prime Minister coming in, so let's take the break and come back.
Estamos six minutes past seven o'clock, las siete con seis minutos en nuestros estudios, and we say good morning, Belize, and thanks for choosing love. Thanks, We'll be joined in, in, this in a few by the Honorable Prime Minister of Belize, John Briseño. Yes, in, yes, yes, he'll be here very, 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 very shortly. shortly. Um, in the meantime, we continue our discussion. Yes, and you'll just join the, us in the conversation. Yeah, I was mentioning, Chief, um, if you allow me, um, the the cardiological center that is being developed at That's a welcome Parhoshna. move. Um, I thought that that is extremely um, beneficial for Belize because I think it was mentioned by um, the CEO that, you know, these cardiac um, conditions can develop persons that have other underlying conditions mm -hmm. like, like hypertension or diabetes and so that can trigger these heart diseases. And having the ability to um, to solve some of these mm -hmm. problems here in Belize um, cheaper um, than having to go through this huge um, amount of effort to travel to other countries out of your your space, your yeah. safe space, um, is very important away from your loved ones. So it's important when you have that kind of um, support around you. Um, your healing is better. Everything is better. Plus, it's, it's more cost-effective and it's more affordable. Uh, well, it's keeping your money at home because really it costs so I, a lot to I, I applaud, abroad, I applaud you know? Dr. Koyi so it's and, a good move. And, and his team there and, and at Karl Hushna for sticking with it. You know, because I remember way back when they started, when people were, were coming and then he was kind of understudying them. And then there are other people who are now getting that level of exposure. I saw Dr. Ling there as well. Um, so those things are important and for a country to grow. And it's good that we are, we are jumping ahead too with um, the monkeypox situation. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Are, <laughs> you know, it, it, it's a global health emergency. It's been declared a global health emergency. And I, although we don't have a case in Belize, it's good to see that the Ministry of Health is not waiting for the first case to yes, be identified. Yes, they are yes. being proactive and because ordering they, the vaccines <coughs> and, and what I, 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 I no. saw it was, it was, um, know, it was, mon it was Monday morning. I had seen, uh, I was watching television before coming on the show and they were interviewing uh, Dr. Gupta and he had made the point that f for right now, the only, the only cure they have for it is the T-Pox vaccination, which is the one used for smallpox. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and he was explaining how, how, um, how much is available within the United States. And, um, and he made a very important point to, to me is that when they looked at the population, at that time they were saying about 2,500 people were, were um, infected. And he was saying about 70 to 75 percent they noticed was in people who were, were men who had sex with men. Yeah. And in, in that group, that's where the bulk of the, the virus was showing up. Um, and so he was saying that, you know, it's not a, something that maybe right now so far based on the data that they have that it's kind of running in the heterosexual area and, and that kind of thing. There's few spot spots, but it wasn't at that point wasn't yet. Wasn't that the same thing that was said when AIDS started? Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And then afterwards it was found but out he that it was not so. He did say though, when compared with COVID, and, uh, uh, before I get back to that point you just raised, Chief, is that it's, it wouldn't be considered one of the virus that is asymptomatic, which COVID-19 COVID has been. So you could have it and I could have it, showing no sim symptom of COVID, and then I start interacting with people and infecting them. While with this, because of the lesions and, and the oh, visible right thing on your, on your skin, people would know you're infected and therefore they can keep their distance. Um, another area that he says, the transmission is, is heavy dosage of, um, of droplets or saliva, as well as bedding and clothing, no? Mm -hmm. So that's coming from that international standpoint. I'm sure our local view is, would, be, would be similar. And bear in mind that we don't have any cases here at this point in time that has been identified. But it's always good to be proactive and wait till the cases start showing up mm -hmm. to then take action. Well, I'm glad uh, that we have the ability to detect it. Prevention is better than cure. We have the ability to detect it um, mm -hmm. right now. It may be, as Dr. Musa had said, we don't necessarily have the ability yet to um, detect the strain, but we do have the ability to detect that this is what you have, monkeypox, 
and so you have to, I guess, isolate yourself um, in, in in initial stage. So f right now we don't have any inoculation in place, but I think that we will have to start to move quickly as a region. And the COVID to COVID seems to be moving down as well. So yeah, and like she mentioned, the also trend. there's going to be plateau and some spike with the new subvariant that's coming to B five. However, um, important that we continue to practice the safe protocol. No? Um, that can't be underscored at, at, at any point in time. Um, you know, we can't underscore it enough. And we can't diminish the protocols. You're getting in crowded places, as she mentioned again. And it's indoor. Wear your mask. It's, it's, it's the That's most right. prudent and wise thing to do. Mm -hmm. You know, so... I believe at the end of the day, um, have the 90 case, we're getting down to double digits and then we only have about 400 plus active case, which is not extremely alarming. However, um, <clears throat> you know, it do impact us economically because you have to be away from work and so when you, when you get, when, when you test positive, generally people don't want to be around you. So. Sometimes you don't feel bad, but because you you can infect others. Well, um, once you're test positive, you gotta take the measures that yeah. go along with it. Because when I had it the second time, you know, after about the third day, I really felt normal. Just that you had to go through the course until you were able to get another test that says that you were negative. Mm -hmm. So it's those kind of si situation that we'll have to gra grapple with. I believe as we move through through time. It will be treated as as a flu. The same ideology well, is going to be right, implied. Well, I think right now more, more people will be dying from the flu right now than, than from COVID. Yeah. Right. So. Yeah. So you, indeed. How, how, indeed. How, you, how you end up so, looking at it. So, so it's important. It's important right. that we we understand that taking our necessary precautions will continue to be necessary, and if we don't do that, then you know we are kind of exposing ourselves, and at some point in time. It may well affect you, mm. you know, significantly hospitalization. Take your and so, in, indeed, indeed. Mm. So it's very important that we do take our precautions. And of course, Chief, as we promised. Oh, yeah. He's here now. He's in position. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Prime Minister. How are you this morning? Good morning. Good yes, morning. yes. We are joined by the Prime Minister of Belize, the Honorable the John Prime Minister. You heard <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, John. Yes, yes, Prime yeah, Minister, good morning. I don't know how to do this every morning, but... <laughs> well, we only do it two days. Commitment. Yeah, Chief, only do it two days. No, 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 Yes, yes, uh, yes. We have, we have to take a pause. We have to take a pause. Yeah. Um, but it, it can't take a toll on you. But, yes, um, indeed, indeed. But, and certainly we, we um, I don't think we can say it enough, but um, appreciating the work that you guys do every morning, you know, and um, um, yourself and, and the rest of the team, it's... Um, it's an important part of where people can have an open dialogue mm -hmm. and also um, even the listeners can send in their messages or, mm -hmm. or questions or whatever it is that you want to answer. So I, I must commend yes. you and your, and, and your team. You know, it's Thank, work of, thanks, Prime Minister. Like you said the, the other day, you, know, I said, you put in a good plug, you know, uh -huh. Thursday night uh -huh. uh, when you were talking about love. So uh, this is certainly a work of love. <laughs> <laughs> not yeah. so much about love. But, <laughs> but good morning again. Good morning to everyone. And good morning to your good listeners. Morning, yeah. <laughs> thanks again for for inviting me to to, to be here on your, on your show. Last week there was some kind of confusion as to which show I supposed to appear. Yeah. <laughs> But um, here I am. But, but, but you're, you're, you're on the show right uh, now, right? The, show. the morning show. The, the morning show. The morning, <laughs> the morning show. show. It has the widest coverage. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Prime Minister, um, you know, the, 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 you, you are the, you are ranked as the second most popular or accepted leader of government in, in, in the region. That's good, you know, congratulations. I, 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 I looked at it and I said, wow, <laughs> you know. Um. I could accept the president of Peru being last. I mean, <laughs> but uh, and chief but is the congressman of Peru. Sorry, sorry, I didn't say that. I did not say that. But anyway, I have met the president of Peru. I mean, he's a good man. He's a humble, he's a humble guy. He's a humble guy. Yeah. He comes from uh, indigenous origins, and obviously, the but he's having some troubles at all. The elites don't like him mm. for for, so he's having for trouble. the structural changes mm -hmm. that he wants uh, to put in place, obviously, and um, and probably some of the changes that he is. Um, 
proposing to do is is, is, is not working. You know, mm. you know, it, it's it, in government as I've, I've I've learned. I wish you can just turn on the switch and it changes, but it takes a long time. Yeah. Mm. I always remember um, he has my brother battle. Jaime, who has been um, you know trying to help, and and I, and I know um, Jules could not believe it that um, that um, Jaime does not collect a salary. He just want to see the government work. Mm -hmm. and, um, and he said, he said, when one day he looked at me, he said, behind me, he said, John, total that, and I'm going to be in, like, everything take long. Yeah. And I wish we could find a way, a better way, a more effective way, a more efficient way. But it requires us working with the public service um, yeah. more closely. Yeah. And we're, 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 we're making progress, and, and yeah. that's what I, I, I believe. But as to... To, to, to that poll, I was totally unaware. I was taken. Yeah, I'm surprised to see it. I was humbled uh, that, um, yeah. that people would believe that that we are doing a good job. But wherever we go, um, Renee and, and Troy, that's that's internationally, poll, eh? yes, yes, internationally, um, people <coughs> want to hear the Belize story. This last time when I was out, I was to go only to Kigali. Mm -hmm. And then the EU invited me, and they, you know, they literally begged me to come for uh, um, there's a conference on development mm -hmm. and talking about digitization, and they insisted for me to go. Belize, I'm the first prime minister of Belize that I've ever been invited, mm. and there are only three prime ministers that were invited for the entire region, um, which was Jamaica and, and Trinidad, and um, I'm the only one that that, that showed up. And then after that, I went to Kigali. But before that, then I'm told there's a conference of oceans by the UN. Mm -hmm. And you know, and again, I said, well, I can't go. I'll be going to Kigali. And they are insisting the Nature Conservancy, WWF, says people want to hear about the blue bond, about what you're doing with marine conservation, on what you're doing with the environment and conservation of all, and the economy. So I finally decided, okay, from Kigali, then I went there. And then, as you know, the, my six term, my six months as the chairman of CARICOM was coming to an end, so then I had to go mm -hmm. to, to, um, mm -hmm. to <coughs> Suriname to hand over the chairmanship. And then went for a two day of work in, in, in um, Guyana, looking at what they're doing. Um, obviously, the immense wealth that now that they have, and they're starting yeah. to. To, um, yeah, yeah, to come and finding a way how to mm. ensure that they do not depend only on, 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 on oil. Yeah. And so agriculture they are trying to push. And please, we, we have one of the best records when it comes to agriculture in the region. Mm. So they, they want to partner with us, set up a cooperative cooperation agreement where they can learn from us and, and so obviously we, we can learn from <coughs> us. So it was an intense about 23 or 24 days of, of work, mm -hmm. plane to work, plane to work, work. plane to work until I got back Yeah, it was a, it was for Belize a long time. Is, and, and so Belize, whilst we, we must agree that um, we're not out of the woods, um, people are, are, are quite excited about what, what they're doing. United States, um, a year ago, uh, well, last year, um, um, awarded us you know, with the MCC, MCC. the Millennium um, um, Co Corporation, uh, um, um, in, in, in working with us in set up a program, mm. a program of grant money, which could be as much as $200 million, um, American dollars, US dollars. And one of the things that we've said, you know, um, it would be if we just go through the entire process, it could take about five years. And says, listen, we don't have five years. Belize needs help now. And we have identified education as being a key priority of this government. And um, Minister Fonseca and Minister Koi flew to the United States to, 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 see, to see with the people at the MCC, to talk to them and make the point. And then I also spoke to, to, the, to the manager, Mrs. Albright, Ms. Albright, and, um, and his, her team. And we managed to convince them. So now the, the team has just been set up so we're starting to work to be able to see what programs we can put in place mm -hmm. to be able to move our <coughs> educational system in the in the right direction using this one is so guys i mean there, there's a lot for us to be um to be um proud of to be excited about 
Um, they, I like I like to tell people the foreign minister. I'm sorry, the foreign, financial secretary expressed it best when he met us. The first meeting that he had with us as a cabinet, he says, "Listen, Belize is not at the cliff. Belize is off the cliff." Now we need to find to have a safe landing. Mm -hmm. And thank God, thankfully, we had a safe <coughs> landing. I know the economy continues to grow. Last year, we had the, the biggest, one of the largest, um, or fastest growing economies in the entire Americas. I mean, the IMF has confirmed that. Mm -hmm. And this year, despite that there's a slowdown mm -hmm. all over, the confidence that we have built in Belize um, is allowing the economy to continue to grow, that you have more and more people to come to invest in, in, in they're, they're, they're investing in tourism, they're investing in, in the BPOs, the, mm -hmm. the uh, um, call centers and so forth, they're investing <coughs> large numbers in agriculture. Mm -hmm. For instance, we have the um, Obregon Group who has um, planted over 3 million, 3,000 acres of of um, of coconuts, mm -hmm. you know, down south, and and well, many of us, yeah. including my brother and I, we we are planting. We have already planted like 500 acres. Yeah, coconuts, oh, wow. coconuts, to coconuts, coconuts seems to coconuts, be yeah. there's a lot, yeah. lot of future. So yeah. Agriculture, you know, what we're doing with opening up the the, the doors to export cattle into into Mexico, mm -hmm. we're doing Guatemala, negotiating with Guatemala a partial scope agreement, expanding. The numbers of goods that we can export mm -hmm. into into Guatemala, these moves are, are are making it possible for Belize to be the true bridge <coughs> from Caribbean to Central America. Yeah, because a number of companies and people that I've met in in in, in Guyana and for instance in Suriname, and Trinidad, they say, listen, with what you're doing, then we can move some of our products into Belize. Add value and then export. How will they deal with the transportation? Uh, well, the transportation sneak, is, sneak is a big, it's a big issue. Yes. And one idea that we you know we were talking and we need to follow it up mm -hmm. with um, with the agroproductive sector. They're saying, listen, if we can pool our resources mm -hmm. and lease a, a three thousand ton ship, okay. so they are available. There are a lot of them mm -hmm. that they are no longer in use. Mm -hmm. For a small, for a pittance, we can then load our products into this, into this ship, mm -hmm. and then go island hopping. And as we go to these islands, we can pick up their products yeah, to bring to Belize. Okay. Okay. So it requires a little <coughs> more of work. Well, well, some logistics. But there's so much that we've been doing, and that is why the economy continues to grow. Mm -hmm. While other economies um, are shrinking and they're having problems, our economy continues Grow. Give our us first quarter, we had over five percent growth. Would you say we're easing of restrictions and and and, and barriers? We, we, and that is one of the things that mm -hmm. we have done. Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, when it comes to the issue of COVID, mm -hmm. we were among the first countries that started to ease up restrictions because we quickly realized we have an open economy. We have to allow our tourists to be able to come yeah. in. Mm -hmm. We have to allow business people to come into Belize to do their investments yeah. Yeah. and for us to be able to export and. Um, and as I always, you know, like to joke with people and saying, you know, that was a brilliant move. He says, a genius move that you did. I said, yes. I said, but if it had gone wrong, but to me, it's best that we do something than not do anything. nothing. Mm -hmm. And our government continues to work. Um, we have a hardworking cabinet, and I think that is starting to show. The, the I remember one of, your, one of your early promises was that the ease of doing business in Belize would be. Um, Improved on uh, by and it's through legislation, it's the, the we're, speed at which the, you are getting responses and that kind exactly. of thing. Yeah, we're changing the legislation. We um, just last last week we, we we presented our new policy and strategy when it comes basically to easing in, in doing business in in, in, in Belize. Um, mm -hmm. And so we're doing a number of things. Um, hopefully, probably next week we will sign a, a, an agreement with um, with Quintana Roo. Uh, with the outgoing um, um, governor, um, with the blessings of the incoming governor, um, for for us to for our business people to be able to to do or to be able to work closer together okay, between, the new, um, 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 between that state and 
believe Prime Minister, uh, as people would say, the elephant in the room, the fuel prices, inflation. S sneak peek into Cabinet, what, what's the plan maybe going forward to see how there's a possibility to kind of stem or ease the pain of what inflation is causing, understanding clearly that a lot of it is imported as well. Well, it's the world all globally. it is imported. Yeah. And um, there's not much we can do <coughs> more than just work with the taxes. Mm -hmm. I wish we could say we can afford to give subsidies, mm -hmm. but we can't. Remember, uh, when we got into government, we were spending a million dollars more than we were making. Mm -hmm. And we were unable to pay our bills. And so we had to ask the public officers, the teachers, the BDF, to, to sacrifice with us to be able to take a 10% cut to try to stabilize um, government mm -hmm. finances. When it comes to fuel, with diesel, the last time it came in, um, the last one that I saw, we were charging one cent per gallon on excise tax. Yeah. On regular, we have reduced it substantially to probably about a dollar. And the only one that we did not, we decided we were not going to touch was premium. premium. Mm -hmm. And simply because um, Premium money represents less than 20% of the market. Mm -hmm. And figure, if you really want to, you know, especially the pay productive the extra sector, money, the productive sector does not buy premium, buy premium yeah, 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 regular, yeah. And, and, and that. So yeah. we, we are trying our best to see how we can hold on the cost as best as we possibly can. But a counter to that is for the economy to be growing. So if people, they work, at least they have something. Mm -hmm. Before, when we came in, <coughs> when um, unemployment, I think, was over 35 percent. You know, right now we, we brought it down to about under 10 percent. Um, inflation is hurting them, but at least they're working. But imagine you know the work, mm -hmm. and inflation it hurt you. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it makes mm -hmm. it more difficult. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. um, I wish I could tell you that um, there's a magic wand. Mm -hmm. um, there's no such magic wand. Right now we, we are trying to finalize how we can find some sort of subsidy for bread so that we can keep the cost of basic goods um, no, down. No. Most of the basic goods that we are imported into Belize pay little to no um, 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 taxes. So there's, again, I, not much we can do. The other thing that we, we are trying to do, we've had limited success, mm -hmm. um, is the issue of price gouging. Uh, and yeah, so we've been asking, yeah, again, the to. public to help us to <laughs> you know, when they see the, the, the um, a price of, of a good one, they just tip over the price because mm -hmm. they want to raise it up to mm -hmm. take a picture, send it to us, and to the price, price control. And they have been visiting, mm -hmm. and they have been giving tickets to some of these businesses. How, how is the legislation as it relates to other items that are not considered essential? Um, because it, it becomes some household items while they are not essential. The, the, we get calls all the time about the gouging occurring. Is there any way to look at legislation well, what, to what we can kind do, of facilitate? It's, it's, it, price control is very difficult. Price yeah. control is something of the I past. Yeah. It does not work. Mm -hmm. um, but right now, we have to implement the price control that we have right now just to hold it down as best as we possibly can. Um, to include more into that, it's something that we're prepared to take a look. But we're not sure how successful that will be. What we can do, though, is to do what we call shaming, mm -hmm. that if the um, customer can take the picture, send it to us, and then we can go there and um, have our officials go there and, 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 and call them out to see how these yeah, people are taking advantage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I think these are some of the actions that can help, mm -hmm. but it will require not only government, but also citizens to be able to help us. Yeah. Okay, um, let, let's take a break, um, Prime Minister, yeah. and try. It's 7.30, we'll take that break. When we come back, though, Prime Minister, we could look at some of the, the Social Security Board loan um, proposal. You know, you have the proposal um, for 20 million to DFC, 4 million to CBBL, 200,000 to Good Steel Hotel, 7 million to Pharmacy Expresses Limited, and, and so on. So we could maybe look at those loans and get your opinion on those loans. We'll be right back. Good morning, Belize. A relatively moist and unstable easterly airflow prevailing. The 24-hour forecast for Belize and her coastal waters 
calls for sunny skies today with cloudy intervals and high temperatures will range from 88 degrees Fahrenheit along the coast to 92 inland and 82 over the mountains. Tonight's skies will be partly cloudy with low temperatures of 80 degrees Fahrenheit along coastal areas to 74 over inland areas and 68 in the higher elevations. A few showers and thunderstorms will continue to develop mainly along coastal areas this morning. Shower activity will decrease by afternoon. Tonight, showers and thunderstorms will redevelop mainly over southern districts. The winds will blow from the east at 5 to 15 knots and the sea state will be choppy. A high tide will occur at 8.46 a.m. followed by a low at 4.23 p.m. Another high occurs at 10.21 tonight and a low at 3.11 tomorrow morning. The sun rose at 5.30 this morning and will set again at 6.27 this evening. The moon set at 3 minutes past this, e this evening and rise at 19 minutes past 5 tomorrow morning. The outlook for Thursday and Thursday night is a partly cloudy skies with a few showers or thunderstorms developing mainly over southern areas. Elsewhere, shower activity will be isolated. In the sargassum forecast, is for more sargassum mats to continue to affect our beaches during the coming days. And in the tropical weather outlook for the North Atlantic, the Caribbean Sea and the Gulf of Mexico, tropical cyclone formation is not expected over the next 48 hours. And that's your morning forecast that was prepared here at the National Meteorological Service.
It's 18 minutes to 8 o'clock, las 8 menos 18 minutos aquí en nuestros estudios. Good morning, Belize, and thanks for choosing love and a beautiful... Hump day. Okay. <laughs> so make, sure, uh, make sure you wake up in the prime minister, because I'll tell you, I go sleep for me. It's Wednesday. No, right. imagine that if they accuse me. <laughs> <laughs> accuse you maybe Monday, but not Tuesday. Yeah, no, not exactly. Tuesday. No, no I, mean, I tell him, no I tell him every time I'm on here, I'm bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. <laughs> <laughs> Prime Minister John Briseño, our guest this morning, and Prime Minister, it's always good to have you here. Thank you very much. Right? I hope you come more often to visit us, you know? I know. Yes, yeah. yes, so yes, Prime Minister, so we'll have a <laughs> later show. So that you don't have to get up this early, right? <laughs> well, we could work for that too. Right? <coughs> no, no, that, that's fine. So we could have the Prime Minister show. <coughs> you see that? You see? Maybe, yeah, a, maybe, maybe a monthly idea. event. <coughs> maybe a monthly event. Yes, yeah, the Prime Minister show. Mm -hmm. And which, which might be my re refreshing. See? But before the break, Chief, you had, you, you had raised some, some questions that um, <coughs> left the Prime Minister with um, to, to ponder. Yes, we did, we did. We did. I said some questions. The SSB loans, particularly. <coughs> yeah. I wanted to touch on there, those. There, there is the SSB loans. There's a process, <coughs> obviously. And I think <coughs> last week, four, four loans were advertised that the board have intention or proposed to, to um, finance. Um, and, you know, there was a back and forth. I think one of them that jumped, jumped out in the, in the public domain was one for... Um, Ph Pharmacy Express, <coughs> uh, one for seven million dollars, and I think that became a, an issue. Um, <coughs> and maybe because of what I consider to have been an unusual event, where a release came out sometime like around Sunday night or there about from the Ministry of I'm Health Ministry and Health. Wellness, yeah. saying that they do have some concerns about that loan. I found that a bit unusual. I can't recall seeing that occurring before, but. Um, how does that dovetail with, uh, understanding SSB is autonomous, but how that dovetail <coughs> in terms of the cabinet itself and your office? Yeah, I, I think you, you said it right. Um, Social Security is autonomous. Um, as the Minister of Finance, I do name some members on the board, mm -hmm. but they don't report to me. They, they, they're autonomous, mm -hmm. and um, they need to follow within the law what is the policy of, of, of Social Security. And their investment policies to be able to to use the monies from, from from Social Security to invest because just the monies that you give um, is not <coughs> going to be enough to be able to pay you when you get sick or when you get or when you retire. So they have to invest this money. And the idea is to be able to invest the money in the productive sector of, of Belize that would create um, generate more income, generate more wealth for, for the country, um, create opportunities and jobs for, for, for people. And so that is the general framework that they, they operate from. Now what happens is that there is an investment um, steering committee. <clears throat> These are professionals within um, Social Security. They accept the applications, they review it, and they make their recommendations to the investment committee. The investment committee then takes their recommendations, would take another review, and then if they don't see an issue, they pass it on to, to the board. The board then takes another harder look and asks questions back and forth, and then when they <coughs> say, okay, we're prepared to, to um, lend to company A, mm -hmm. then the, an offer is made, but then it has to be publicized. And that is the last step, and this is where we are. Now the public now and individuals or organizations then can write um, to the board and say, you know what, I don't think this is a good investment mm -hmm. for X, Y, Z reasons. And then the board now is required by law to take another look. And if they believe that the um, concerns that were raised are That's legitimate, right. then they will say, to the person or to the company, I'm sorry, but we will not be able to proceed with the loan. Mm. That is the process. So that's the, the state so is in right, now. So what we see right now is that the process is working. Okay. Okay. That they've made, they've made the advertisement, mm. and then um, there's this one in particular over the pharmaceutical company that um, a lot of people have been raising from, from the time it was publicized. And I think that the Ministry of Health and Wellness felt that it was important for them to, 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 to announce or to make it public that they have concerns with this company 
and even made a point that they don't even have a license to to, um, to operate. To operate, okay. Mm, I see. Very important. <coughs> so, at, well, at least but, the, the but, process but, is working. But, mm -hmm. but and I and I know there's a certain individual out there waiting for the government to slip, for them to sue us, and um, so we have to make sure that um, we 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 follow the process to ensure that it is done correctly. And then if we have enough people are saying, and with, with reason as to why we should not make that investment, then the board will look at it and decide whether they will proceed with, with the loan or not. Mm -hmm. And that those reforms were done mm -hmm. after the 2004, remember when um, the G7 and, and mm -hmm. one of the things we were concerned that the monies from from Social Security, whilst we strongly believe that they need to be invested, they have to be invested <coughs> in solid investments, mm -hmm. investments that will help with the development of the country, but also investments that will bring um, profits and help to build up the fund for Social Security. Yeah. And, they are, and what, they, they, that, what, what was pointed out to me is that um, every investment that they make the interest rate must be higher than the highest rate of interest being charged on deposits. Mm -hmm. So it has to be either at that or a bit higher. Mm -hmm. So we're ensuring that we could get the best monies as opposed to just park it in the bank. We could take the opportunity of helping to invest. For instance, right now, the DFC is, I think, is, at, um, is working on a loan for $20 million, 20 million. to right. be able to, to make loans available especially like to the public officers to the teachers kind of lower middle and middle class um, citizens that can have access affordable um, <coughs> um, um, credit um, access to affordable credit for them to be able to build their own homes and the dfc has had a very good reputation with their social security they have never defaulted Parted, on that yeah. one so again from my mind, on my end, um, and I'm speaking not as prime minister but as a citizen, that it that in itself I think would be a, a good loan. A, a fair that, investment. That's something that I but I don't believe people would have any objections. I, yeah. I understand the DFC has reduced its interest rate, right, prime minister? Yes, but they have reduced their interest rates. What they have been doing, they've been making a lot of changes amongst them. Mm -hmm. What has happened is that. We have went from one extreme to the next. Under the PUP um, government, um, we were two locks. And you know, just trying to, again, because we had this, this is urge to, yes, to yes, be yes, able to, 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 to get the economy okay. going. Um, <coughs> you know, we made a lot of questionable loans and, um, and DFC was getting into liquidity problems. And so when the new government came in, the UDP then came in, um, they claimed that they rescued it. They, partially rescued it, that they could keep the doors open, but they shackled them mm -hmm. and saw that they really couldn't do much for development. I remember um, my brother and I wanted to plant 70 acres of, of cane, of, of sugar cane. And they're saying, well, but DFC is letting money for cane farmers and everything. So I went to take a look. I said, um, you know, we, we, we are paying to clean the land and everything, but we need the money to be able to... And they start to give us a whole long list. And I said, oh, how long is this going to take? Oh, this is going to take about four to five months. I said, listen, four to five months, the next crop like don't start. <laughs> I went to sort to, to um, Credit Union. I had some savings. And based on my savings, within another three, four days, um, we got the money to be able to invest. And so now mm. we have 70 acres of land of cane that we are you know, working and, and, and delivering. Point is that they shackle them so much. Yeah. Now, the very same board and, and Ms. Ewing, we have to give credit to Ms. Ewing, the, the, um, the CEO, mm -hmm. um, that they saw the problems. And so they <coughs> came to cabinet and gave us a whole list of recommendations to be able to, to loosen them a little bit, still make sure that there are certain strict parameters um, on how they're going to lend money, but to be able to make it faster to be able mm. to 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 um to serve their customers better mm. when it comes to the agriculture when it's time to to land clear 
you need the money now. Yeah. Because if you don't do it now, rains come down. And once the rain comes, you can't do yeah, land do clearing. Again, yeah. And when it's time to plant, you can't wait because, you know, when it's time to plant, it's time to yeah, plant, plant because yeah. it's raining. So it's we can't wait when it don't dry. Yes. And so they have been doing these changes to be able to be able to better serve their 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 their, their, their clients. Mm -hmm. And so we've been doing a number of things to be able to, to ease it up and to make business uh, and better. And the same thing applies to, to Social Security. And how about, the, just to delve a little bit in terms of National Bank, what's the, the general outlook for National the Bank, National Bank, Bank going forward? Is there any way to re recapitalize it or, or create more injection for it to be more we're visible? Working, on we're front? working on that. We're working on trying to see how we can get some, some capital. Mm -hmm. And also to bring in some some fresh um, deposits. Money. And so. We're looking at Taiwan. We're talking <coughs> with the Saudis. We're talking to Qatar. Um, in again trying to see, they are, are are offering beliefs. They want to to. They're looking at at at, at um, the Americas, in particular um, Central America and the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. They're saying, you know, we we have stayed away for too long. We want to be more active. Okay. Actually, I have a meeting, a Zoom meeting right after this oh, okay. um, with um, the, um, the minister from Saudi Arabia. It's going to be by Zoom to, to discuss on some of the proposals. And one of the proposals is to be able to have access for housing. Because if you look at the housing project, what Minister Spat and his team has done, I think that has been one of the most successful programs yeah, mm -hmm. we've ever seen when it comes to housing. And um, the quality of house that we put, that we are building, and it's partially subsidized by government mm -hmm. because we want to make sure that it is the ones that really need single mothers, uh, poor families. You know, I, I remember um, in our North <coughs> Central, the family that got the house, when you went to the back and looked, they used to live in a house because of zinc. Mm -hmm. And there was this little girl, I, I remember today, I still remember vividly. She is so excited, you know, we want put the ribbon, she may run inside the house and the mother <laughs> said, wait, we have to wait till we cut the ribbon, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and when you see the joy in mm -hmm. the face of these people, money can't buy that, yeah. money yeah. can't yeah. buy yeah. that, yeah. And, and, and this little girl so excited, and says, oh my God, he said, that my, my mom, we have a shower, we have a sewage, we have a bedroom, um, money can't buy that, and, Saf and so Saf we Nihad. Oh my God, you know. Yeah. And so, and we've been doing that all over the country. This time over. around, I think we've already <coughs> done 200 homes. Uh, when you compare to how much GDP so built, much already? zero. 200, 200, homes, already. 200, 200, 200 homes already. Oh, wow. all, over done, country, all over the country. Yeah. All over the country. Except, and, and I have to plug it's in for, for, um, for um, uh, Barbara Oscar Kenya. Oh, we could, we've <laughs> not been able to build, but I would, yesterday he brought it up. He said, well, what happened about Belize, um, 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 Toledo, Toledo West? West. Mm -hmm. But because of the issues we have with, with the Maya, um, with the MLA, and then with the we have, to, rights issue, we have to tread very, very carefully yeah. how yeah. we want to. But we want to start to do that um, um, very soon. Well, right now, we have one in, in the minister announced in, in Boom in a housing division that was done by, by, a, by a private contractor. Um, I think they are build, building or built about to finish 50 homes. Wow. And so we're going to be sharing it among some of the representatives here in the Belize City for those that need and also for the area representative for, okay. um, from um, Belize Royal um, North. So well, we, we, these, we want to do transformative things. That is why when we work in the economy and expand the economy and opening up new industries, we're creating jobs. I know I was hearing you talking about the book about political tribalism. I'm, mm -hmm. I always say once we could get people working and they become independent, they will not need to ask anybody for any help. Yeah, yeah, once right. we could have the free education system, they don't have to ask a minister to help them to send their children to school. When we could expand the national health insurance, they do not need to come to a minister to ask for help. The problem is right now, and it is easy if, as an academic to be able to look at it from 20,000 feet and, and, and skin up your nose and look mm, at them people. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. look at them poor people and go and go big people. And reality you should know the better. is different. The reality is that we have a poverty rate of over 60% yes. thanks to, to the UDP. We are working to reduce 
that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we don't have the social safety net that other countries have. Other countries have unemployment benefits, other countries have uh, Medicaid, you know, and that, that, that where you can, can go to, tap to get, to, to tap in to be able to get some assistance. Right now, unfortunately, we don't have that in Belize. I hope someday in the future, in the not too distant future, we can be able to do that. But I tell my colleagues, the best social program that we can have is one where we can put people to work. Because once you work, you empower that person. You yeah, make right. them more powerful. You make them more independent. Give them and they pride. Can then, and also a more sense of pride that they can look after themselves. Well, Minister Tryon, I usually talk about a sewing factory to sew uniforms. I mean, we have uniforms for BDF, police, uh, you name it, you know, right. scouts, you, you name it, that we keep importing. And there was once this um, <coughs> Williamson Industries that employed most of outside Belize City um, women, um, that and Nova shut down. Um, any thought being given to, to, to maybe facilitating somebody, or encouraging somebody to come with such an idea of a, of a, of a sewing factory? Well, a few people have tried, you know, if you, if you remember Dr. And protecting them, Dr. because Dr. they have to get some protection. Well, it has to be Dr. Some Pitts, legislation. Um, some legislation. Tried. Dr. Mm -hmm. Pitts um, had a small program going on um, at the uh, Bungyard, you mm -hmm. know, I, I yeah. visited them and they were doing some bags and, 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 and so forth. Um, but you have to have skill, one. Secondly, you have to give them some kind of protection, protection. protection. in the sense that you would have to raise the tariffs. Um, once it, it really, uh, it was of, offensive <coughs> when I heard that uh, at one time that um, I think it was Social Security, that they were spending like $275,000, I think it was Social Security, mm -hmm. to import their uniforms from Trinidad. Yeah. Yeah. When we can mm -hmm. do that here. Yep. But again, Point. again, you can't expect the government to do it. Somebody have to come with the idea and said, listen, I have this plan. For instance, there's this um, young man, Jaime um, uh, Marin, um, Umblan or Urban, something like that. The one with the, with he the, he with makes shoes. some really good boots. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, and we have to support them. Mm -hmm. For instance, uh, um, and, and I was very upset with, with the BDF because then the BDF decided that they were going to import their own boots. Um, but this time around, I, I, I plan to, to, to meet with a young man and to, to meet and, and to, to see how we could have, say, like, BTL, BL, the police department, the um, 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 BDF, to yeah. buy their boots. It's being done in Belize. Belize yeah. And they're starting, they he says, they don't want to start to buy um, leather that right now, one either we throw it away, or B, the Mexican, the Guatemalans come and buy it for, for pennies on the yeah, dollar. Yeah. Um, and, and, and so that they can provide this, uh, these services. And I know sometimes they like say, oh, but the quality, but how will the quality improve if we don't use it and say, okay, this is where we can improve. Yeah. You know, and so, I hear good so quality. we have to, for instance, I just got a picture right now. There's a, a person from, I, I could look it up right now, from sure. um, Sokots that's building, um, he is building a um, banana fiber chair is now available. He said, Humberto um, Chulin is an artist and, and co owner of Belize Banana Fibers. You know, and, and when you look at, I wish if the. You, you can send it to me and I'll get it to the technician. Yes, so I'll we'll send it to you right now. Yeah. Um, and I'll get it to the well, technician. But there are many Belizeans, I get the message <laughs> that you're saying, Prime Minister, because I go both on my Belize watch shows and I see many Belizeans. I, I send it to you. Sure. Um, the other day I went on um, um, my wife site on Facebook, they have some, some shoes, some, again, another small group. That I left the house meeting when I got to take one break, run there to buy a shoes for, for my wife. $25, and she said it was good, good quality that was done. And I said, let's try to help them. And so they went to the office, and then I asked uh, my CEO to work with them through the, um, the Chamber of Commerce, um, no, sorry, through Beltrade to see mm -hmm. what assistance we can give. And now what we will do, be doing shortly is we will be going what we call uh, MSME <coughs> Roadshow. 
Giovanni, I sent you the, the, the photo um, that Prime Minister spoke about. You could just put it up so viewers and listeners could get an idea. So, you know, um, we are doing the, um, we're going to, we so we have a national SME road show. Okay. Whereby we could highlight some of the, the things that Small and medium that, that enterprises. Doing. Yes. Um, That'll be district. It will be going, district? it's a road show. The National MSME Roadshow from the office of my prime, there, there you have my office. prime minister. The launch we'll be doing from we we'll go we we'll be in Corozal, <coughs> the 24th of August to the 26th, Orange Rock, August 31st to, the, to September the 2nd, Belize City September 7th to the 9th, Punta Gorda September 14th to the 16th. We'll send you the information. Sure. We'll be in Kikaka, mm -hmm. in Bamapan, San Ignacio, Dangriga, Placencia, San Pedro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We put it, put it back up. Um, um, yes, that's 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 yeah, that's there, the, there it is. that's the young man. The young man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and we need to support it. Yeah, I mean, fiber, banana fiber. Banana fiber. So you know, we we we. And we have an incredible. abundance. We have an yeah, abundance, abundance of banana. I mean, sometimes it's being thrown away. I have to understand. Sometimes not all of it is ready for shipment, mm -hmm. and are accepted for shipment, and so it's available for for us to produce things. So it's always in innovative when we see people yes, doing things Yes, his name like is um, Umberto Cholin. He's the one that, that's, that's, that's working on it. And, <coughs> and maybe we need to start to have the, 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 um, those resorts as opposed to getting duty-free to import furniture, as we could say or not, start to buy some of our local some furniture, some or, local or, furniture or, or tell them, we we'll give you half, but the next half you have to buy from Belize, you know. So yeah. these are the things, these are, these are the things that our government is doing, trying to empower people, make them grow, that they invest in the economy, and, um, and empower people. Right. Once we give somebody a job, we empower that person, mm -hmm. we give them independence. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. there's a lot that has been done with the little that we have, we've been doing a lot of work for this. Maybe that's why yeah. the rated Belize so high in, yeah. in, in, in well, the One of the local... One of the local criticism is that, granted right, what you've just said, the government is doing a lot, but there's not a lot of, um, of public relations that I is done to kind of get the message out there for the wider public. The persons who is affect, they have, it affect, of course, they know that is they are getting the support, but the wider, the wider population doesn't get an idea. So that's why you always end up with all these discussion occurring. Sometimes cynicism, sarcasm, right. but because the data is not being. I think cynicism <coughs> and some journalists <coughs> live by cynicism, and um, and, and, and it's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. You know, instead of of making people feel worse about themselves, let's try to uplift them. Come mm -hmm. with good stories, you know. And yes, the, we, we need to show some of where we're going wrong, but also try to put, you know, to show all of the good work that is being mm -hmm. done, mm -hmm. because then it helps all of us as Belizeans to feel good about yeah, ourselves. Yeah, like the, ca the cardiology um, department right. at the yeah. 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 that's, 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 that's a good move. Yes, yes, that's very you know, good. You know, and just, these are some of the positive changes that we want to do. Look with NHI, with the very same funding that Pablo Marit was spending in, in Corozal, just in Corozal town and, um, and they, I think they, they set up a center in, um, in San Francisco that was not working. Now we have, we are covering the entire district and providing even more services than what was being for provided the same money. for the same money. And this is what you're saying, you're, you're with having getting value for Somewhere. money. Yeah. Six minutes past eight o'clock <coughs> and we got to get some yeah, value. Yeah, when you come up, we want to touch on the, the Taiwan loan that was recently passed, well, supplemental yeah. as, as well. And Just things like Blue Bonds uh, update. Yeah. And, um, touch a little bit on those. Some of the loan motions that, that, that were in the house and that kind of thing up here. So we'll be right back after this break.
It's not 10 minutes past 8 o'clock, 8 10 minutes. Prime Minister right. John Briseño, our guest this morning. You've got to be at work at 8 till 8. Well, <laughs> and, and, and you know, most people getting to work right now have on their radios. So. Yes, certainly, certainly. <laughs> and we want to make sure that they don't miss any of the Prime Minister's statement this morning and, and positions and what's happening within the government is very, very important. Mm -hmm. um, Prime Minister, um, at the last house sitting, there's several loan motions that were passed. The big one, of course, is the 150 million or 75 million U.S. Um, borrowing from Taiwan. Mm -hmm. um, for I think it was listed as general purpose. Any any um, comment in terms of the use of the funds? And I know it has been a discussion that took place in the house as well, especially from the opposition. But nonetheless, I always maintain for small economies like ours to grow. Borrowing is essential as long as we, we put it to good use. Yes, well, what, what we've been doing, I'm trying to, to look up some of the, the notes of the, of, of the loans <coughs> that, that, we, that we had. For instance, the, the IFAD loan that we, we did, mm -hmm. that was signed in 2017. Mm -hmm. A lot of these loans are legacy loans right. from the UDP, and they were just sitting there and costing um, government by the, by the year of 2020. Only $4 million have been used of that money. And it was used for salaries and the purchase of vehicles when this was be able to, to, to help in, in, in agriculture and to get people back again as they to work. So now through this project, now we'll be able to, to be improving rural infrastructure in locations such as San Carlos, in, in Orange Rock, Valley of Peace, in Cayo, Copen, in, 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 in Sun Creek. Trio Village in, and San Jose in Toledo, in the Toledo district. So these are loans yeah. that they're not, that they're way not new we borrowings. Do it. They're new borrowings, but we, we have to bring it down to the house because the UDP had already um, signed on it. Now you you made the one on the on the loan from <coughs> from Taiwan. Mm -hmm. Well, that loan, remember in when I when I mentioned in my um, in my intervention in the, when I made my budget presentation, mm -hmm. I said that that loan was coming, but it was mm -hmm. not uh, in place. Yeah. That is used for every year the, 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 the uh, government of Taiwan would help the government by, by either grants and loans for budget support. So that will basically help us to, 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 to cover that, that financial the gap that we support. have at, at, the, at the end of the year. Remember this time, this year, we are only having a primary surplus of just about a 1%. Uh, and we yeah, need to okay. increase that to a minimum of 3%. Yeah, yeah. And so we still have to control and tighten what we're controlling. I'm sorry, tighten on what we're spending. But we also know, also have to increase revenues. And, and mm -hmm. when we look at what the, the revenues that we've been collecting, We've not been. We've been, we've been doing um, a pretty decent job. So, and that but is what that is the, what has the been helping that us. The listeners' primary surplus is just the difference between the revenue and what the what you collect and what you spend. And so, it's what, the, what is remaining. Yeah. Right. It's called it's your primary right. surplus. Your change. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your change. Or some people, maybe if you're dealing with true financial, they say, well, that is your net profit or, or something to that effect. Mm. But it's called in government, in terms of government fiscal, it's called your primary surplus. Mm. Then, of course, your cap two and cap three. Expenditures would come afterwards. Um, Where were the blue bonds, Prime Minister? Well, the blue bonds were again. Um, that was to pay off the mm -hmm. super bond. Mm -hmm. We saved five hundred million dollars, but now with the blue bond, now we have to start to pay. Yeah. But what what's innovative about this is that one, it helped us to set up a a fund um, for marine conservation in mm -hmm. perpetuity, a trust fund. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've put in seed money of close to $24 million US. And the expectation is that by 2040, we will have it at at least $100 million And also that we can then get um, other countries 
um, sorry, other donors to be able to put monies into that fund mm -hmm. so it could <coughs> become larger. That's one. But secondly, every uh, portion of the of the payment of the blue bond, uh, eight hundred, sorry, eight million dollars is set aside every year, of which see forty percent the government have access to to be able to to help with um, with the fisheries department mm -hmm. also or to um, coastal zone management, mm -hmm. and then the other sixty percent, then the local NGOs that are, and 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 communities that live. Um, in front of the in the coastal areas, can then come up with projects and get it funded through this. So it is um, a win-win for for everybody, and that is what other countries are looking at. What we have done now, despite the fact that we are such a small country, we could have managed to turn around and 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 pay off a private debt um, at fifty-five cents on the dollar. Mm -hmm. It's something that has never been done before. Right. The best that they did was one, um, I think it's uh, Vanatu, or, or um, I don't remember, the, well, one of the small Pacific Islands. I think it was, was it seashells? Seashells, I think That's seashells, I think yes, so, yeah. um, for 20, <coughs> it's about $23 million. Mm -hmm. yeah, Yet here we one. came with one where we tackled a bond that was over $550 million. And what is most troubling to me is that under the UDP, for 13 years, the UDP paid the bond holders over $700 million yes. in interest. Yes. And the bond did not go down a single cent. Yeah. Actually, and it now, increased, increased. Yes, actually, it increased because they capitalized on, capitalized on two times. Yeah. In two occasions, they did not pay, <laughs> and they capitalized. capitalized. So it yeah. went up. Now, yeah. here we, in six months, we negotiated that. It required, as I rem when I gave my, my, my speeches in, in, in this one, I said, listen, you all are looking at the pretty part of it, that all oh, you managed to, to, to get this done. I said, but it also required some sacrifice and pain that we had to be able to convince the public officers and the teachers and the BDF to be able to take a, a pay cut at a time when you needed it most. <laughs> But we had no options. Mm -hmm. And whilst the, 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 the unions did not happily signed on, they realized and they, they understood that we had to do something. So they became a partner with us in this. Mm -hmm. they, are, they were a part of, of the success of mm -hmm. getting this done. Mm -hmm. When the bondholders saw that we are doing these tough decisions and trying to cut um, government expenditures by 20%, mm -hmm. then they said, all right, we prepare to talk. Mm -hmm. And then we said, well, here is this, this is the deal, all or nothing. Mm -hmm. And that is how we managed to convince them. And, and of course, that restoration has occurred during the month of July. Um, two thirds, cut off two thirds of the, of the weight, because it was a, actually a three year program, but you're actually returning it back well, in money. Well, yes, what we did is that the, the <coughs> salary cut was was for three years. Mm -hmm. And we said, we, when we met with them, we said, if we set certain parameters, if the, we could get the economy to grow at, certain, at a certain uh, rate, and if we can collect X amount of dollars, that then we are going to give them the 10%. Now that we have given them that percent, that 10% back is translating to about $5 million a month. So you're looking that we have to find another sixty, 60 million, million dollars per annum to be able to, to, yeah. to, 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 pay, yeah. to pay to pay that. But part. I think it's something that's worth it, and we 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 um, we, we believe it's the right thing. And we always say the government will get back some through PAYE and and well, other, that, other, that, other, but, other areas. But, but that's that's, that's, that's <laughs> very <laughs> very little. It's <laughs> spending that will take but, place. Yeah. Good spin, good spin, the good spin, I'm, 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 I'm sure. <laughs> but it is going to be a pittance. More importantly, though, if that they have monies, uh, they will also be spending. They will be buying. Yes, we'll yes. be able to collect some taxes. They'll be able to invest yes, people because yes, yes. because people they, the people there's more spending money than other people invest and yes, they create yes. more jobs, so, more taxes. So it's a sixty million but, but, but dollar injection. But going going into the future. Um, I, I, there's always a concern whenever we sit here in Belize City of the connectivity of Belize City with the rest of the country. I mean, there are those two bridges. Thank goodness you're replacing the Hallover Bridge. Yes. But the other one is the Hector Creek Bridge. So there are only two outlets from Belize City, which is the main metropolis of this country, right. to the mainland. 
any one of those bridges go down and we're in serious trouble. You know, there's no third or fourth. Any consideration has been given by government to perhaps building a third exit entry to into, in, into the city in any way, fashion, or form? Well, there has been talk and, um, of finding a way of how then we could connect um, Belize City straight to the to the um, to the bypass or how you call it the John Henry or the John Smith John, John Smith. Smith the John Smith Road the Link Road the, the Link, Link Road, Road right mm -hmm. um, and and um, from straight across yeah um, we've had that kind of discussion but not, I'll be honest with you it's not serious at the time mm -hmm. we are more pressing matters right now we have to fix the swing bridge. Yeah. I mean, again, it's the a, it's a, it's a shame, it's a shame that the UDP government, that is a Belize city-centric, that was a Belize city-centric government, that spent $600 million from, from our oil money, $500 million from the petro Caribbean money, did not see it fit to, to, to redo the swing bridge. Because you can't repair it anymore. Mm -hmm. And I must commend Belindo. Um, I know that Jules made a lot of fun and, 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 and mocked him, but at the very least, Belindo has a, 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 a practical approach to things as to how he could shore it, shore it up buy and time. firm it up to buy time so that then we can be. We have to build another one. This, but the one what is most troubling is that the UDP government was aware that a vehicle, a, 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 uh, a boat or a barge or something hit the Bell China, um, one of the boulders that, 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 or columns um, that, 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 that hold up the, 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 the bridge and that it's, it's, it's leaning and, it, and it's exposed now to, to the elements of the salt. Uh, you know what salt does to, to steel? To steel. <laughs> um, and they did nothing about it. Yeah. So um, again, thanks to, to, to Julius and his team that they, they, they take the initiative to decide to, to check. Survey, yeah, to to do check. Survey, yeah. And they saw that, hold on, we have a problem here. Uh, so now what we have done, um, I think he went to Qatar, I think, I think he, or to, Kuwait, to Kuwait, and um, pitched the boat projects to, to the Kuwaiti fund. And hopefully they will be able to provide the funding to be able to want to, to repair that one. And secondly, it was to find how we can kind of replace and if we could keep parts of this historic bridge mm. because it's a historic bridge. We don't want yeah. to yeah. just discard it. Um, we want to do as best as possible to keep it so can people can yeah. think about, well, the, the swing bridge in the, yeah. In the yeah. good old Yeah, because it's very iconic. It's iconic. The, point, the point is is that we had a government that had no vision. I really can't understand what they were but doing. But their mantra was infrastructure? I, infrastructure, but look at what the infrastructure that we have right now, the problems that we have. The, we have to fix right now that part of, of, the, um, of the river that has been washed off. Yeah. Um, something that they did. The road that they have built today, uh, it's sinking all over the place. You know, we have to take hard look as to how, how we want to do that. Some of these cement streets are that. breaking up. Look at well. the cement streets in Belize City. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's a disgrace. Um, so we have to be able to continue to, to work and see how we can fix it. But again, you have to be focused. What is it that we want to do? We want to be able to to reduce our trade deficit by half, and we want to be able to have full employment for young people and women. And how you do that is by growing the economy. And the only way you can grow the economy is by exporting. Minister Mai markets. has been done an excellent job in trying to get our mark or products out of this country to so us to be able to to, um, to to sell more for for people. We want to reduce poverty by 50 percent in 10 years. Again, to reduce poverty, we have to put people to work. But to put people to work, we have to grow the economy. It all comes to be able together. to grow the economy, mm -hmm. and then to and look at the issue of citizen security. And while citizen security is to stop all of these gun killings, mm -hmm. and we're trying to do as best as we possibly can. Um, Karim is, um, as a minister, trying to get more recruits, trying to change the mindset of the police that they should be more like partners in the society, in the communities, to work with them. Once they become 
a friend of the, of the community. It is easier to be able to fight crime. But we're also using technology. Um, there's a Cabell loan that was signed by the UDP again. Which and they did not nothing with yeah. it. They spent about $2 million just for salaries and nothing was done. We are drawing down monies on that, getting more cameras that we're going to put cameras in, in, in strategic locations in the town, in the city, so we can, can, can see what we're doing on that. We're working on more, more hard, more um, seriously on the, on DNA and, um, and partnering with the private sector forensic, forensic. and with, um, for the forensic sciences, mm -hmm. but also DNA, um, even with the private sector and the, 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 uh, the American government and how we can get the, um, the, these things going. We have to use science to be able to fight crime. We just can't use sure. it by brutal force. We can't use it like when we have what? The, the, um, the gun 13 or what? The, MS-13. Uh, MS-13 that would go into a, into a neighborhood and beat up people and think that that will not solve crime. We have to use science mm -hmm. to be able to do that. We have to start to use a change in mindset, the mind frame of, <coughs> of, our, of our police officers, that they have to be more community oriented, that when they become a part of the community, the community will then alert you, you know what? I think we have a problem over there, and so that they could try to, to prevent crime. But these things take time, mm -hmm. and it requires not only the government or only Minister Musa and his team, but it requires uh, an effort from everyone. But that takes time because we have to win back the confidence of the people. You need to implement the revolution of the mind. Prime we're working on that. We are, that's, ex we're that's, ex away. that's exactly what we are working yeah. on, mm -hmm. in changing the mindset of people. Things like the, the and constitutional you do that reform. By, by getting yes. them to work mm -hmm. and by creating jobs and creating opportunities. Look, we're looking at the IT vets. What, what Minister Fonseca has done is revolutionary. And whilst it's not exciting, it's revolutionary. One is that we're saying that you will no longer be passed because of age. We have a lot of people who have finished primary school and can't read and write. You will only be passed when you are competent at that stage that you are to go to the next classroom. Secondly, we're saying now that we're going to increase the, um, the mandatory age to be in school from primary 14, school. primary school from 14 to 16. So now every child in this country up to the age of 16 must remain in school. Mm -hmm. These are fundamental changes that will have lasting impact on this country. Uh, how we say we and it can be, and it can have probably even a more a more lasting impact than even free education. Because you could give free education and just pass people pass. Mm -hmm. But when you're saying you will only pass when you are competent mm -hmm. with what you've been given before you go to a next class, um, that's, 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 that, that that's changes class, everything. That's and, 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 one of the things, and one of the things that we're looking at is, um, and again, we were discussing it in cabinet with Minister Fonseca, to look at the um, IT vets and to partner with the call centers and say, okay, what skill do you need? Give us the, the, the curriculum, give us a program. We are going to train our young people. So right now I'm told that there's an average of, out of every 10 that they interview, they only, call, they only hire one person. Wow. We want to change that to at least a five or six. But to do that, we need to train them. So we are, are at the point of, meeting with, with, the, with the, we, first of all, for the first time ever, government met with the BPOs to hear them out <clears throat> and to see what we can do for them. So we said we want to be able now to partner with them so that we can train our young people so when they come out, they can go straight into one of these BPOs to be able to work. Well, that's for clarity um, with the age it's only based on competent, because if somebody is competent enough to move on, if they come out at the age of 12 or 13, they're not they're going to be asked to stay in school and in sit. No, state. no, they go so to high school. They go, they go to high, high school. school. But, so, yeah. so, but, but I just say that for clarity, because some persons believe we were saying no, 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 no. You have to be in oh some, some no. So I just no. You have to remain in school until so the age of 60. No, 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 no. Whether the primary or secondary, you have to pass school at the age of but, but, but you have to stay in the educational system until you're 16, mm -hmm. which now comes to the issue of the constitutional reform. Yeah. Um, 
and the, the people's constitutional reform. Again, a lot of people are getting excited about nothing yet. What we're doing first is pass legislation to legitimize what we're doing. Yeah. Mm. And secondly, we're trying to include as many, as many people as possible in the commission. I think we've passed 20 now. Wow. And now everybody yeah. say, well, we need to be there. We need, listen, not being in the commission does not mean that you are not going to be heard. The commission will be able to, will have to travel in the entire country to be able to listen. Yeah, that because works. First of all, <clears throat> I believe that the commission will need to, to present some ideas. Because if you go in a blank state, you don't yeah, get, get bombarded. nothing yeah. done. <laughs> we have to have a, <clears throat> I believe that we have to have a, a, um, a presentation to, to make and say, look, this is what we have right now, and this probably where it's not working. Here are some ideas. What do you think? And start a discussion. And then based on that discussion, we are saying we want to hold it to one year. And then after one year, then the commission can sit down and put a report. And then when they finish with that report, then, then it's presented to the prime minister because they, it is appointed by, by the prime minister, but yet works through the ministry, the, uh, the ministry of ministry constitutional of reform, yeah. where they have the secretariat. Yeah. And then it is discussed, and then it goes to the house mm. to, to, um, for, for debate. And quite likely, if it is s s massive changes of even <clears throat> changing the whole, whole outlook of the Constitution, then we may have to put it, quite likely, we will have to put it to, to a referendum yeah, so that yeah. people can accept what we're changing. So it is a long process, but we want to keep it into a process of no more than a year and a half. Yeah. Or else, we could talk for the next 10 years. And talk, well, I like that there is a timetable. Yeah, that's, that's important very important because, because things can't go on forever. It has to be finite. for a long time. And then we know we then know then it goes. Yesterday we decided that um, <clears throat> the issue of young people, that we're going to put two youth representatives. Um, <clears throat> because as we understand, no, I mean, um, I think what about 60%, I don't know the exact number of Belizeans are 67, are 37 years or younger. younger. I'm sorry, Cho, you're 38, so you're not 38 yes, years I'm old. Far right, you're not, uh, you're not, far you're far just, just, you just, just, <laughs> just put up, um, above it. But we want to put two youth, and then yeah. I think we decided, I say, okay, that we'll get one from the, um, the Creole Council to be able to, 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 to represent. Um, but so you don't, you're up to 23. <laughs> no more, I don't have more than 23. Yeah. But the thing is that then, then you could say, the Mennonites could say we want representation. Oh my. The, the, um, the, we were talking the, about that. The, the, the Chinese Chinese could say they want, you know. Mm. Every ethnic group could say they want. But, mm. but the point is it's not that they will not have access. Mm. They will have access and they will be heard and it will be collated into a plan as to what can be presented. Yeah. So everybody will have access. Everybody will have access yeah, to Some people committee. felt yeah. that maybe it should have been left in the hands of scholars, and then they come up with the ideas. The problem with scholars is that um, they, they are, they are, are, they are academic. academics. Because a lot of people um, don't connect well with the Many, many scholars are academics, and that is why they're not entrepreneurs. You know, they could talk about it, but they don't, can't mm -hmm. do it. Mm -hmm. There's a yeah. difference, and I say it respectfully. Yeah. And we need scholars, because then they can think and mm. short ideas at us. Mm -hmm. By us, I mean mm -hmm. the, the mm -hmm. general, general public, public. And start to think, I say, hmm, I wonder if that could work. And then you start talking about it. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I'm not disrespecting scholars. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not one of them. It takes years of studies. Mm -hmm. But also, you also have to be practical mm -hmm. about the things that you do, that it can work. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, Chief, so, well, with, well, with your we permission. We 34 minutes yeah. past eight. We'll take a little pause. for the last segment. Yes, because I have uh, another meeting right after this. Yes. We take a break.
It's all 39 minutes past 8 o'clock, 8 con 39 minutos aquí en nuestros estudios. Buenos días, Belice. Thanks for choosing love, right? That's it, good? <coughs> yes. Thanks for choosing yes. love. Yes. Yes. You, yes. Can't you can't go wrong with love. You can't, can't go, go wrong. wrong. Right? Can't go I wrong. I agree, Jero. Once you love what you're doing and you love your country and... You know, it has to be love. It has to be love. Love, yeah. love, love, love. A couple of quick things, Prime Minister. Um, you know, hot on the table. One of them is the latest appointment for the chairman of the Public Service Commission, um, my friend Marisa Scal. Um, I know there's a lot of hoopla. The UDP has rejected his appointment. And, um, yeah, we are with that. Well, 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 first that of all, it's, 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 um, the, the appointment is not immediate. It has just been a... Um, it's a recommendation. A recommendation and that we, we have to look at different names. I think what's more important, I think I find it um, hypocritical of, of the leader of the opposition who is always crying out for, for a second time, for a, ch for a second, second chance. chance. He was convicted. He spent 10 years in a prison in the United States. And now he's saying that he should be given a second chance to be able to, to redeem himself and wanting to be the prime minister of this country. And um, I know he, you know, here is condemning Mr. Kahl for an, an allegation. Um, he was never taken to court. He was never incarcerated. I, I don't know the details. And so mm -hmm. the important thing is that Ms., Mr. Kahl um, have some very good qualities about, about, about him as a person and that we believe can do a, a, a good job. But as always, we are a government. Um, we don't, can't be arrogant about, about recommendations. And, um, and we are also be taking a look at what other names may be available. And if Mr. Carl ends up being the, the best possible person that we believe we can put, we will proceed. But if we get other names, we are also prepared to take a look at. So mm -hmm. it's, it has not been sent to the Governor General. It's okay. still in the process we were looking at. It's, it's, it's just a recommendation at this point. And in the time. Constitutional <laughs> Committee is pretty much set, right? The Chairman of the Constitutional um, the, Committee? The, yes, but it, it, it goes to. to um, we wanted to, to, um, to launch. The, the, um, the Constitutional um, Committee. Um, Maybe at a press conference. In the first of, Jan of, 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 of August on Emancipation Day. Oh, wow. We thought it would have been very symbolic, but mm -hmm. um, a few members of the board felt that uh, we should not do that yet because they have not been officially named. Now, we could have gone to the house and passed it all in one city, but we felt that, you know, we could put it out there, and if anybody have any other suggestions on how to strengthen that bill, um, we'll wait. So that's why it was not pushed through in, in one sitting. And I'm sure that the opposition would have supported it. But we just felt that we could give people an opportunity. And that's, that's what we did. And there are some people there um, at the House Committee, I think, on Monday, expressing some concerns, some recommendations and some expressing support. So um, we will take that in co into consideration before it goes to second reading at the next yeah. meeting. And what about the involvement of the third parties, Prime Minister? The, uh, they, they have, they we, we have invited to them to, to be able to, to come together. To, I mean, um, these small parties, and, and, and I say it with the utmost of respect, yeah. um, have not guarded more than 5% less than of the vote. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Will we have a referendum on the marijuana bill? Yes, we will have That's a referendum. Certain. That's certain. Now, the date may change. Okay. Um, 
when, and I, and I must start out by commending the, the churches that to be able to, to garner the, the, the 10%. Now, they barely made the 10%, but they made the 10%. <laughs> and that's, that's important. Yes, yes. And unlike the previous government, remember when the UDP, we, there was a recall against, I think it was Penner. Um, mm -hmm. The UDP back then did everything possible to stop it. And they said that some signatures are wrong and they can't recognize it. Um, they were threatening people. We did none of that. We allowed the process to proceed. And now that the process has proceeded and it's been triggered, um, we have to come up with a budget. And it's an expensive undertaking. And total for, elect for, for, the, for the referendum day and the educational campaign, giving the pros and the cons so that then people can make an informed decision, we estimated that it's going to cost $5 million. Once we made that announcement, people were alarmed. They're saying, well, how can we justify spending $5 million at a time when children, parents are trying to get their children back to school? Um, we still have to fight COVID. We still have to see how we could get people back to work. We still have the issues of inflation. There's so much pressing problems that we need to deal with right now. Ironically, um, just before all of this, um, Ministry of Finance, Minister Fund, um, um, Chris Koya and myself, well, he is the one that met with the, um, with the banking association, and they were expressing their concerns about mixing up mm -hmm. illegal uh, marijuana money with the rest of their monies and saying, listen, we have got problems with our corresponding banks. Right. So government, the cabinet at that time decided that we will put a pause. Remember, this has already passed the house. Right. So we Senate could have too. already put it on yeah. into, into in, yeah, the Senate. It's before the government so, general process. I mean, right. then I, I mean, this went through a long process, you know, mm -hmm. because uh, it's in the Senate. They said, you know what, the, we want a standalone. The, the law has changed or not? Yes, a standalone, mm -hmm. you know, because we were amending. And they were stand alone, so we went back and did a stand alone, and we had extensive discussions and consultations. But when that presentation was made to cabinet, cabinet said, "You know what? Make we hold back the enactment of this into law until we can address the concerns from the banking association." That, in effect, gave time to the, to the churches to be able to say, okay, get the numbers. So we had already said we were going to hold it back until that can be addressed. <coughs> now, there's been this concern about the cost, um, people from the media, people from different NGOs, and even some members from the churches were a bit concerned. So what we did last week, cabinet agreed to, for us to meet with the churches. And we had a long discussion with them, and they went back to, to discuss it with their with their uh, people or with their flock. And they have wrote us a letter to say that they would agree to, uh, to hold back on the referendum on the conditions. I'm going to give you the very short version. Basically, what we plan to do is now to, to, now to make an amendment to the bill because it's not law yet, to include a clause to say that before it is enacted into law, we must have a national referendum for people to decide whether they want to support it or not. Yeah. That is one. And, and that's that, that will shelf the and, bill, right? That then the will yeah. shelf the bill, shelf the bill until yeah. the time when we believe, okay, I think now it's time to be able to do it. Mm -hmm. And secondly, though, we're asking the AG to, to look at the referendum act. Because, because, it's um, not binding. because the referendum act is binding, but we don't, it does not have a pass button. So we may need to amend referendum that act, yeah. to, 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 to say that when the persons that are calling for the referendum along with the government would, are, are prepared to hit the pause button, that it can be done. So we were looking at that fact. That's okay. what we've, we've decided. We will be writing officially to, 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 the, um, to, 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 the, to the churches, to the organizations, to tell them we, we accept what you're saying and we, this is the amendments that we're going to do is, so we could hold it up for now. Is there intention in the way of Prime Minister to include other matters on the referendum ballot? Um, well, since I... It's such a costly exercise. <laughs> there might be other matters that are before the nation that maybe could inc be included on the ballot. Uh, we would have to take a look first of all. 
we have to take a look to see if, if it is allowed. Okay. If the, the, the referendum act would allow that. Mm -hmm. um, and if not, maybe we could consider to, to, to amend the, 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 the referendum to be able is to, there, is there to do more. Is there an intention that. of the government to live up to the wishes of the people? Because we know that the, refer the outcome of the referendum is not binding. The government no, if the referendum say no, it will be no. Okay. If they say yes, yeah. it will be yes. Okay. So okay. we will listen to the... To the, the will of the people. So if there's a no, you're committed that that it is yes. going to be a no. There will exactly. be no there kind will of be no effort being made to no to it, change that, things. It, it ends there, <laughs> and maybe later on another yeah. government can, no, can to revisit try it again. again. So if it's yes, then you go through the process. Yes. Yes. Which because that will take a massive education campaign. Which is the which is the the general outcome that you you would want happen anyway. In terms of talking a little bit about the environment. Is there, is there, what, what's the general feeling in terms of the sort of the electric phen phenomenon in transportation that is taking place and the, gl the green climate components that are going along with it? What, is there going to be a sort of push from, say, cabinet and the government with its effort to maybe move towards, say, electric vehicles and so, and finding ways to encourage people to, to go in that direction? Well, the first thing is that um, <clears throat> right now the um, Minister Shabat and his team are starting to work on a new um, policy, mm -hmm. and that is one of the issues okay. that is going to be um, addressed. Secondly is the issue of trying to push for more renewable sources of, en of energy oh, and how we can get more people to get, say, for instance, um, solar. Mm -hmm. Or now we're uh, talking about wind turbines. They're saying that... In certain countries, like being Belize, we can put wind turbines, but it would have to be way out, like a few miles away from, from, from the shore. That, that can create, it's becoming more and more affordable. Yeah. So yeah. We, we're looking at all of these issues, yeah. trying to get funding from the Green Climate Fund that will be able to help us to pay for, for, for some of these things. And there is also um, lots of interest in Belize to be able to come and to do some of that. There is even this talk of that we can come to, to a point where we can produce enough energy that then that we can be selling across the border, like across into Mexico and even across, and, and certainly across right. into, into Guatemala. Because in Guatemala, remember, in, we, we have the issue whereby um, um, we don't have connectivity. So we have to, to, to work to see how we can get connectivity that then we can buy from them when it is low mm -hmm. and when the price is high, we can sell to them. So it is a fairly complex thing, but then we have different issues. We have the issues, um, for instance, with the beauty or the natural gas that um, we have um, the, the National Gas Company looking at it, and we have other players that are looking at it. So we need to be able to, to, to do it in such a way mm -hmm. that we don't depend just in one pro on one company, well, but yeah, different one basket. companies to be able to, 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 to do that. I think as we speak, um, the, the um, Boeing company, Boeing and Boeing, is um, working on setting up their solar um, um, farm in um, in the Corozal district, um, the, um, closer to, to, to the new station, switching station that they, they, they have built. Um, and so I think, I don't know, I don't know if that's going to do about three, three or five kilowatts, um, Meg uh, megawatts, sorry. Megawatts. Um, I, I don't know the exact number, but um, so it shows that there is interest. And all of that is happening because there is confidence in Belize. There's confidence that the economy is growing. And with the economy growing, usage increases. Mm -hmm. And so um, it, 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 it goes well for Belize. And then, of course, the, you know, you have these... We're also um, looking at the issue, even the sargasm, mm -hmm. and probably I may um, have to take a quick trip to Hamburg where there's um, equipment where they can take the sargasm and cut it up and then convert it into energy. So energy. different things that we're looking at. Different things, yeah. yeah and uh, as, it, as it relates to transportation, of course, that's uh, also... And transportation, so again, that will have to be a part of the policy whereby if we will reduce uh, the, the, um, the taxes to be able to 
encourage people to use electric vehicles. Might have an impact on the fuel consumption, but and, it's and, a, it's and, a and that's fine. Remember, remember our fuel we are importing. Yeah. And if we can produce more and more of our energy or electricity, then it will may not be a bad foreign thing. exchange. Yes. And, uh, the foreign exchange demand. Prime Minister has an update on the ICJ. Um, the Belize of Guatemala case before the ICJ. And well, we have already put in our counter memorial, and now um, where we we are waiting to hear from from Guatemala. Um, there is a slight, um, um, for want of a better word, kink in the whole process. Um, when we uh, declared independence, Guatemala quickly, um, Mexico, sorry, Honduras quickly amended their constitution to include the Zapotelakis in yes. their constitution. Yeah. Um, we all know that they have never had never access had, and, and they yeah. privately admitted also. Mm -hmm. Now, they are saying that they may have to, to do, um, to also put in a claim. So quite likely if oh that boy. were to happen, the, the judge the, the quite likely will have a ruling on the boundaries, on the, um, the land boundaries. And then the maritime boundaries will be a little bit more trickier to be able to then then build, um, 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 Honduras will also have to be a part of that. So um, the it's the possibility exists that the ICG will say, well, I can't rule on the boundary because also now you have another interested party. Mm -hmm. But on the land boundary, they, they will. And on the land so boundary, you're talking about the sea, sea boundary, the world right, rule right, on the sea boundary. Marine, right. Uh -huh. Which we know, I mean, remember when we passed the Maritime Zero Act, uh -huh. we deliberately did not go all the way to the end because we have not um, delineated ours or, uh -huh. or sea boundaries. Uh -huh. The land boundaries, we are very confident that, that that's settled as a done deed, as a slam dunk. No, it's about the Maritimes, where the law, where the lines are going to be uh -huh. um, um, drawn. But remember also that um, international law does not allow you to stop uh, a country that have access to the sea from accessing the international, yeah, yeah, the yeah. high seas. So both Belize and Guatemala and Honduras may have to sit down to see how we're going to put our boundaries, our marine boundaries, so that then Guatemala can have unimpeded access to the high seas. To the high seas and so, so, so that won't be a decision made by the ICJ. That's a tripartite discussion. Well, there will be a decision. The decision certainly they will make a decision on the land boundaries, okay. which is what the big thing is. You know, when Guatemala is saying what they want from the Sarstun, from the um, from the, from the Cibun Cibun to the Sarstun, you know, and, and all of the islands, and, and and so on that part, there's not going to be a problem. It's more down on the south, whereby because of now Honduras has already signaled that they may want to to be able to to do something about it, um, that that then will be delay the process for that area. I'm there. comforted that to hear you say no problem, but a nervous belief and all they would say, <laughs> why you say no problem? Because remember, um, possession, we have been on this land for 300 plus 400 years. Guatemala has never been here. Secondly, we have two treaties with Guatemala, or well, I mean the 1859 treaty that declared um, the that declared the um, the boundary mm -hmm. um, between the land boundary mm -hmm. and then and then in 19 was it 30 31 uh -huh. we also yes. um, the, um, then signed notes we went and yeah, put and our pegs pegs and we shared our notes on the on mm -hmm. what are the the boundaries keep catch us, and Gracias a Dios mm -hmm. is one of them, Garbage Falls, Tubas. and then Aguas Turbias. So <laughs> that is there. And then the last point is the the, uh, the principle of self-determination. Yeah. We as a country, we have determined um, that we are an independent nation known as Belize, and that we want to be free and sovereign, and that we're going to protect every single square inch of our 8,867 square miles. And we are Belizeans, <coughs> proud Belizeans. We are proud Belizeans and in mm. Spanish we say somos Belizeños. Mm -hmm. 100% Belizeños. 100% Belizeños.
right? No, no, the forward operating based at the SARS soon. You know, that, uh, yes, the, 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 um, the forward operating based on the BDF, the, SARS the again, the, the um, Minister of Defense last week, Minister uh, Marine, appealed to us that um, it's in a bad state of disrepair. And again, I blame the former government. I mean, they knew that it was in a bad state and they did nothing. They splurge money and other things and not on what is necessary. What we will do is, for the time being, to move them closer to Barranco and then hopefully we'll be able to, to fix um, 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 that forward operating base for that we can have our BDF there. But we will still continue the, the patrols as ever. It's not that we're going to <coughs> remove, they, it's only that the place is unsafe. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's tilting and they can yeah, it's fall looking down to follow into the river. Into any the, moment, uh, into the sea. Into the sea. Yeah. 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 The it's a yeah, shame. It's a shame what mm -hmm. the previous government has done because they had the money to be able to do that. You should look at how the BDF camp looked. And um, we again, with a little bit of money, little at a time, we're fixing it. I mean, and um, they, or they believe they, they, they need to do better. Look at what we've did with the fire stations. We've been fixing many of them, getting second-hand fire stations, uh, fire, fire trucks to be able to countrywide. I mean, and, and again, is, is there a plan to build have, a new fire station in the city? Done. Yes, that is still the plan right that we're going to build. Right now they're being housed at the Marion yes. Jones. But mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Just coming back a little bit to the to the ICJ, is there any concerns as it relates to economic um, exclusive economic zone that we may lose some of that as well, or, or it's it's. And how that would impact on our blue bond commitments and is there any No, such that will not happen. It will not affect our blue bond commitment because mm -hmm. we the blue bond the com the areas we are are, are committing to, to protection is not in that in okay. that is that's away from that from that area. Okay. And um and the, the issue of the the exclusive economic zone depends on where your lines Yeah, where the line is drawn, so yeah. Because yeah. it kinda goes out of two hundred miles. Well if Belize and, and, and Honduras run our lines, we're going to intersect. Black out, black so out, um, uh, we are black out Guatemala. Guatemala. So international law <coughs> uh, dictates that we have to move the yeah, lines. So easement. Right, yeah. and easement. That's what the Marta Mirrors have to do, yes. I think. Yeah, yeah that, that was it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well Chief we're dead on nine. We are dead on nine and Prime Minister say so you have to go. Yes, so we don't want to. So we don't want to lay up more than Mrs. Mr. Zoom card. Because we don't yes. want next time when the Prime Minister show up and say, I want to keep it too long. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been <laughs> here almost two hours. Yes, yes. It, it went, went so fast. But it went fast. Yes, yeah, it, it went fast. fast. Any, any, any fast. closing comments, anything yeah. that, that you feel that the public needs <clears> to <throat> hear about that we may not have gotten a chance to delve no, into? No, I, I think you, you touched most of the important um, um, issues. Um, um, certainly, I, I just, again, I want to, to thank the Belizean people for, 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 um, for the support that they continue to, go, to give us. Um, village councils, what we went with, I think about 140 of plus of the villages. That in effect shows that they still continue to have tremendous support um, for the POP. I want to assure them that the position to be the Prime Minister of this country, um, whilst it's, 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 to, to me it's, it's humbling, um, I'm humbled by the fact that, that my colleagues and people um, felt that I can do this job. I don't know all the answers, but I have good people around and that we work hard and that every single day our goal is to be able to make the lives of our people better. Everybody for win was not a political slogan. It is something that we live by every single day. That said, let's continue to pray to our Lord to protect Belize where the hurricane season. Um, we've been having a number of rains, but at least we can be able to, to deal with that. And um, we continue to, to pray for God's blessing on this wonderful little country called Belize that is the most beautiful place on earth. But we also have to do our part to keep it beautiful. I get very upset when people just they drive out and in their vehicle and they throw garbage. Oh, I don't want choke me. <laughs> I mean, and then I'm begging people, Stop please that. keep yeah. it in your vehicle and then when you get home or somewhere, put just it in a garbage it. can. Yeah. Because when you are in Chetumal, 
or when you're in the United States, you do don't that. do that. No. But you can't do it in your own house, so it should be a shame. Yes. So I'm know, begging them, please. We concur, we concur. We concur. All next discussion, you know. Yes, yes. Well, well, what we've been doing, so look, we Julius again, Julius has been, you know, with again with the same funding, getting some people to be able to pick up garbage, if you notice, yes, trying to the keep highway. the highways clean, but we clean it and by the next week, it, it don't do You ever cut it, when you, when you cut it, you realize so much <laughs> debris is there. That's the part of the revolution and the mining cup piece of it comes yes, in, right? Because agree. if we don't understand our country, we don't know our country, then we can love it. Once we love, once we know it, understand it, and, and, and we, love we are it. Thought about it, then, then, we are, then we will love it, we and then we will take it. So we need so again, to So again, and to both of you, again, uh, it's always a pleasure to be here on <coughs> Love FM. Thank you so much, Same. and uh, continue it's doing a, the, yeah, the, the great job you here, sir. Of, yes, of, and of, yeah. of, ed of educating and keeping our people informed. We yes, do so, yes. sir. And please don't let the cynicism creep into you. It's it. We need to be positive to get things this country going like we, in the like, right direction like we always say our, our job here is to engage our people and hopefully we inspire them from time to time open up their minds so they can can think and look at things differently not lock in the same way people <coughs> want to think all the time so certainly we appreciate the fact that you made the trip prime minister and to be here with us and i think we covered a wide area i think the belizean people can't say that they don't understand what it is you're trying to do in all the various areas that we covered this morning so certainly chief if you allow me an Just opportunity to, up, yeah. to thank um, karen Coot for being on radio this morning certainly want to thank um, giovanni and william usher our master control operators this morning as well as <coughs> andrew jones for streaming and manuela Ayuso, our producer and all those who are behind the scene who made this show possible we want to say thank you uh, as well to our viewers and listeners throughout this beautiful jewel of ours as well as those in the diaspora we say come back again tomorrow where we will do this all over again just for you and today we're borrowing from martin luther king right um if we can emancipation day next week right yes, i sir. think that, that that concept started over yonder somewhere Right? <laughs> Somewhere. Uh, if you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward. Keep well moving. Makes sense. Keep Make sense. moving. Well I, said. Thought, I thought it made a lot of sense. Step you know? at a time. Step at a yeah, time. Step at a time. If you can't fly, but not you run. It's going forward. If you can't run, then you walk. If you can't walk, you crawl. But whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward. And moving forward means looking forward. And that's what we've been doing. We've been moving uh, this country forward. And there's a lot of excitement about Belize worldwide, everywhere we go. And we are getting more and more people coming into Belize wanting to make Yes, love your country. Uh, it's the most beautiful country in the world. You said Amen it, to that. Amen. Yeah, and because yeah. it's so beautiful, we love it. We love it. We love it. We need to choose to love. We choose to love it, right? We say. And that's why we say, Prime Minister, Belize and beyond. Thanks. Thanks for, for choosing, choosing love. love. Have a great day. Bye-bye.